Yes. Let's go. <laughs> I was like, it was a loud ass. My name is Daisha McBride. I am a hip hop artist in Nashville, Tennessee. I've been doing music for a very long time and now we are here ready to release my second full length project. So I've always wanted to make some type of concept album, right? Not just make a bunch of songs and then throw them together. And so I was, I've been thinking about it for a while and I was like, what's something that I feel like I have a lot to say about? And for me, I think it was just love and relationships and you know, all, all of that. You know, in the past couple of years, I've been through a lot of different, you know, situations with a lot of different people. And it's just taught me so many things and I've just felt a whole bunch of different emotions. So I thought, why not make an album that captured all of that in a sense? You can expect, uh, honestly, a more mature, I think, version of me. I mean, I'm doing a whole lot of singing. Uh, I mean, still rapping, of course, but a whole lot of singing, being more melodic than I think I've ever been uh, when it comes to the songs. You can expect a little bit of everything, though, too. Like, just because it's about love, it's not, or relationships, it's not all slow songs. You know, there's, you know, there's, there's a good spectrum to it. So you can just expect a little bit of everything uh, style-wise. I feel like this album is also gonna be really important for me because I feel like it has a lot of first in it. It's the first time that I'm honestly doing more singing than I am rapping. It's the first time where the songs aren't all clean. It's the first time where I'm being completely just honest and open about me and my sexuality and who I'm dating and I, I don't feel the need to, to censor myself because of like what's such and such gonna think like I don't know it's, it's really like I think the first body of work where I'm just like uh, like authentically being myself I think in my opinion it's the best music that I've ever made I'm getting, I'm getting emotional I'm like get emotional dude oh, man <laughs> of course we got you know sci-fi on the beat we have Big Bruno we have uh Kyle Jefferson uh, Darren King a little bit like I, I I included a couple more producers than I normally do um, because I feel like I'm very particular about certain sounds but the production has a little bit of everything there's some you know hard like trap like hip-hop but then there's some pop sound and stuff and there's some R&B sound and stuff so there's a little bit of everything on there uh, but it, it still to me feels cohesive and it, it sends a message so I feel like when you start a conversation with somebody, whether it's somebody who you're super close with or somebody who you've never met before, if you turn to that person and say, yo, let me get this off my chest, then they know like you're about to hit them with something real, with something personal, something deep, you know, just something that you might not tell a whole lot of people. And really just being like, hey, this is me. This is what I went through. This is how I was feeling about it take it and release it. So it's it's kind of like my own form of therapy, but that's that's where Let Me Get This Off My Chest came from. I'm very nervous to release this new music. Cause like I said, people just haven't heard this side of me. And obviously if you know me personally, you're like, okay, well this is nothing new. But I mean, I like when I started doing music, I started in the Christian world. Like I started doing Christian rap and this album, is far from Christian rap, you know? And so I feel like I still have a lot of those Christian rap fans and I don't know how they're gonna feel about it. You know, at the end of the day, I'm probably gonna lose some fans, but I'm looking forward to gaining some new ones that will actually just like love me for me, so. Take that, Jesus. Take, no, no. <laughs> no I take that, Jesus. <laughs> so when it comes to my favorite artists, it's a wide range of people, you know, I, I and it really changes every day. But off top, of course, everybody's gonna tell you that I'll always say Missy Elliott is number one. Uh, I think for her, just because her creativity is so iconic and she was being creative at a time when nobody was like trying things like that. Everybody was like, oh, this is kind of weird. Now everybody tries the weird things because it's cool to do that. But she was doing it at a time where it wasn't cool. Rap wise, I mean, of course there's the people that everybody always say, the J. Coles, the Drakes, 
Um, but of course, J. Cole for just his lyricism, the way he puts words together, I think is beautiful. Um, goodness, my answer changes like all the time because I listen to so many different genres of music. Like, like I was listening to, my whole catalog yesterday was just straight John Mayer. Like stuff like that, like, whole content, like Continuum, the whole app, like, come on now. All right, that's a wrap. That's a, um, that's a, I don't know how to, I didn't know we didn't, we missed one of the little thingies. Um, but yeah, <laughs> time out, time out. <laughs> time out.